Hi guys, welcome to Aarhus University once again. Um, my name is Gide. Uh, I work at the international office with communication and marketing. And I have been given the pleasure today to tell you a little bit about um, today's program, our university, and also our different degree programs. So, <clears throat> Aarhus University was uh, started as a private initiative uh, as a response to the only other university in Denmark at the time, uh, Copenhagen University, that was founded in 1479. So for 450 years, Denmark only had one university. And during this time, uh, many plans and ideas for the establishment of a second university had been proposed, but every uh, proposal had been declined. But then in 1919, the Danish Ministry of Education decided to find out if Denmark really needed a second university. It was then that a broad group of citizens uh, from here in Aarhus joined forces to uh, form the organization Aarhus University Association, um, which together with Aarhus Municipality uh, became the driving force behind the campaign to ensure that the second university in Denmark would end up here in Aarhus, because there was also other cities competing uh, for this university at the time. And, to kill any suspense, the university ended up here in Aarhus and was founded in 1928. This picture we see right here is from 1934. It's uh, some of the first buildings uh, at the university. And if you're wondering about this heap, uh, on the lawns. Uh, they were brought in from the western part of Dublin uh, to work as lawnmowers. Um, but uh, they weren't at campus for very long because the problem was that all the sheep gathered um, over here under the window of the um, chemistry auditorium and then they just stood there and barred uh, all day long and nobody could hear anything inside. So then you should ask, why should we have sheep on campus? But uh, the English universities like Cambridge and Oxford, they had sheep. So of course, we should also have sheep. <laughs> but uh, back to the drive and cooperation uh, with, between the university and the rest of the city. This very much still exists today and actually shapes Aarhus University in many ways. Look at the IT city here. here. Um, which is just a few blocks from here. Um, here you have research and teaching facilities within computer science, information media science, computer engineering, and electrical engineering. Uh, in the same place as um, IT companies like Google, who has a development department right here uh, next to the university. And also down at the harbor, uh, where we have our new buildings, Navitas. Uh, with, where students within mechanical and civil engineering are placed in the same buildings as technology companies, new startups and researchers within this area. So everyone can share great facilities and ideas. <coughs> and then the cooperation with the city also is still very strong. This guy up here in the suit is our mayor. Um, and he takes time every year uh, when the uh, semester starts in September to greet all the new international students in the city. And speaking of international students, here at Aarhus University we have 103 different nationalities. So that means that if you decide to come here and study and you suddenly feel a little homesick, we are almost 100% sure that we can find someone from your home country to uh, team you up with. Especially if you're from Germany, because that's the biggest group uh, by far at this university, of course, besides Danes. Also, between our staff, among our staff, uh, we have 77 different nationalities. So in every aspect, you can say that uh, Aarhus University is an international university. So why should you choose to study here? Well, some of these points you probably heard before, but I'll just uh, go over them briefly anyway. Um, in many of the renowned rankings, Aarhus University is a top 100 university. For instance, we are number 73 in the latest Shanghai ranking, and we are number 81 among the largest universities in the Leiden ranking. 
All our teaching is research-based, um, which means that it's done by active researchers. And this means that you'll always be presented by the newest knowledge during lectures and projects. We have more than 60 programs in English. Uh, most of them are master's level, but a few is also at a bachelor's level. We have uh, the current international students are highly satisfied. Uh, according to a recent survey where international students from all over the world was asked, Aarhus University was rated in the highest category for student satisfaction. Then we have, uh, for all our international students, we offer an introduction week and professional help and guidance with all the practical aspects of moving to another country. And then for our international students at Aarhus BSS and the Faculty of Arts, we offer free career counseling because we know that if you take a degree, of course you, it's because you want a job, a good job afterwards. So we also have a free job bank for all our international students where both student jobs and full-time jobs are listed. And we have uh, representatives here from the career center today that you can also go and talk to afterwards to, to hear about your prospects after graduating. Then Denmark is often listed as one of the most livable places in the world. Um, so if you want to tell your parents that this would be the right place to go, this would probably also be something you tell them. It's a safe place. Um, and it's also uh, with, within income equality, is highest, uh, it has the highest level of income equality in the OECD. And then last but not least, Copenhagen might be the biggest city in Denmark, but we think that Aarhus is Denmark's student city number one. Of the 300,000 people living here in Aarhus, 50,000 of them are students. So one in every six living in this city are students, either here at the university or at one of the other uh, higher education institutions in the city. This also means, of course, um, that we have plenty of offers for young people. There's a lot of concerts, museums, nightlife uh, within the city. And also all the dormitories are within uh, walking or biking distance, which is something you will notice. Every student in Aarhus will bike, even though there's all these in the city. So what do our current international students think of uh, studying here? We've asked them on a couple of different occasions and the most they mention is because of the specific program, because of the university's ranking, or for many uh, outside of Europe it's because they want to study in Scandinavia. We've also asked um, Crystal from Sweden, who made us this video of why she chose Aarhus University and what she likes about it. And the sound guy said it's going to work, so let's see. Hi guys, my name is Crystal and I'm a student at uh, Aarhus University. I'm also a Youth Goodwill Ambassador for Denmark. And I'm going to tell you why I think it's a great thing to study here in Aarhus in Denmark. Let me show you. Aarhus really is a lovely city and I really like it here as an international student. See ya! Great, so here are some pictures from our campus which uh, hopefully you'll also take a tour of today in the lovely weather. This is uh, the uh, annual boat race. It's uh, named as uh, the biggest student event in Northern Europe. It takes place uh, every year in May, uh, where more than 20,000 students gather down at the University Park to watch this boat race. Um, 
the people uh, racing here is from the different uh, student associations. So it's uh, students from the different programs competing against each other. And the thing you do is you row across the boat, uh, across the lake. Um, you drink a beer as fast as you can, run around it ten times, and then you row back. And then the best team wins. Some more pictures. And then, as mentioned, we have 65 programs completely taught in English. Um, I'm going to go all through all of them um, so you can see which programs uh, in the different faculties so you know who to talk to afterwards if you have questions about a specific program. Uh, so at the uh, Faculty of Arts we have these programs. At the bachelor level we have Cognitive Science. And master programs we have um, these, uh, Anthropology. We have five different programs, Arab and Islamic studies, Asian studies, cognitive semiotics, English, European studies, history, human security, international studies, journalism, media and globalization, linguistics, philosophy, prehistoric archaeology, religious roots of Europe, information studies, and sustainable heritage management. At Aarhus BSS we have three bachelor programs, marketing and management communication, Economics and Business Administration, and Global Management and Manufacturing. And the Economics and Business Administration have uh, different lines depending on what kind of interest uh, you have uh, in that level. Within master programs, we have uh, Corporate Communication, uh, Business Intelligence, Finance and International Business, Finance, Information Management, Innovation Management, International Business, Economics and Management, International Economic Consulting, Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Management, Accounting and Control, Marketing, Marketing and Business Innovation, Strategy, Organization and Leadership, Quantitative Economics, and Technology-Based Business Development. And Technology-Based Business Development and Global Management and Manufacturing are business engineering programs taught at our uh, campus in Herning. And then Science and Technology, uh, they only offer master programs in English. Uh, we have Agrobiology, Organic Agriculture and Food Systems, Agro-Environmental Management, Bioinformatics, Biology, Chemistry, Biotechnology chem and Chemical Engineering, Geology, Geophysics, Medicinal Chemistry, Molecular Biology, Molecular Nutrition and Food Technology, Sustainable Animal Nutrition and Feeding, and Technical Geology, and Astronomy, Mathematics, Mathematics Economics, Nanoscience, Physics, Science Studies, Statistics, Computer Science, Computer Engineering, IT Product Development, Electrical Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, and Civil and Architectural Engineering. <coughs> so that's all our programs. Um, you probably also uh, already know which ones you're interested in. And then uh, after these presentations, you can go and have a chat with uh, our representatives from the different faculties. And this is today's, the rest of today's program. In a little while, um, we'll have a visit by two international, current international students, Josephine from Germany and Kim from Vietnam. And they're going to tell you also a little bit about what it's like to be a student here at Aarhus University as an international student. Then we have our international student fair, uh, where you can talk to admissions, you can talk to student counselors, uh, the career center, as I mentioned. We also have uh, people coming from our housing office, if you're wondering about where to live if you come and study here. Um, and then, of course, current international students, they're going to stick around afterwards if you have any questions for them. Uh, you can also get a guided tour of the university campus. Uh, down where you registered, we have uh, people going on tours once every 15, 20 minutes, I think. Um, and then we'll uh, set up free drinks and sandwiches for, for everyone. So you won't get away from here hungry. And then also on your seat, there's a little ticket. It says Ölbillet. Öl is probably a word that you're going to learn if you're going to study here. Now this ha it doesn't have anything to do with academics. It means beer. And it just means that you can go into the student hub next door and get a free beer or a soda uh, afterwards if, if you want to do that and, and check out the International uh, Student Center. 
it's a, it's a place, I think the international students also will mention it, but it's a place where a lot of international students gather uh, every week uh, and socialize and, and have a good time together. And also a place where some of them volunteer and do volunteer work or have a student job um, and get a great network here in the city. <clears throat> then during uh, the student, uh, the, the fair this afternoon, we also have a program uh, which is held in Preben Hornungstuhl, which is just um, to the right out here. Uh, I think there'll be signs, right? Yeah, there'll be signs. Uh, where you can hear a little bit about uh, the specific, uh, specific information, which is not relevant to everybody. So just uh, decide on which of these presentations would be relevant to you, and then uh, join them. Also, um, they should be in the program, on your seats, this program. Um, so, yep, yeah, just go and have a listen. Also, I should mention that uh, if you are interested in, in admission for master programs, uh, we really encourage you to go to this presentation because there's only one coming from admissions today, so she'll be at the presentation um, and then uh, taking all your questions uh, there. She'll also be here afterwards, but at least um, I encourage you to go to the presentation. And then remember, the deadline is coming up to apply, so if you like what you see today, hurry home and apply, if you haven't done so already. Uh, both for bachelor and master is March 15 for EU and EEA citizens. And for some, you can also apply if you don't want to start now but want to wait until the spring. That's especially our engineering programs and a few of our economics programs. And then of course, if you forgot some of the information you got today, you can find most of it on our website, which is this address, which will also be in the... Um, the bag you got today, you can find uh, all this information also. And then I think I remember to tell you everything I was supposed to say. So again, just thank you guys for coming all the way from wherever you came, and I hope you all have an excellent time here today.